a jumble of different charges in a top drawer. Many homes have them, and it's a waste the EU wants to clean up. The EU Commission is proposing common USB-C charging ports for all new smartphones, iPads, tablets, cameras and headphones. In terms of waste, this is significant because this measure will allow us to save 1,000 tonnes of electronic waste and 2,600 tonnes of raw materials per year. There is also the impact on CO2 emissions. It will save 180,000 tonnes of CO2 equivalent per year. Currently, 29% of all new devices come with the USB-C cable. The USB Micro-B sold with Android devices accounts for 50% of all charges sold, while the Apple Lightning port accounts for the remaining 21%. The idea to streamline all charges is very popular with consumers. The typical person in the EU currently owns three different chargers, but only uses two of them regularly. The proposal fits well with the EU's current drive towards sustainability and promises to save consumers $293 million a year in unnecessary purchases. The second part of the proposal is that new chargers aren't automatically sold in the same box with new electronic devices, but bought separately and that the charging speed of cables is standardised, a move environmentalists are welcoming. When it's wasted, you know, the, uh, there's a lot of toxic substances included which get leached into soils, into water, and they're hazardous to the people that are, that are disposing of that waste as well. So there's a massive environmental benefits from this move. It's only a small step, but it's absolutely a blow against that model of the electronics industry built on proprietary technology and inbuilt obsolescence, so it's, which is driving over consumption. If the proposal is adopted by the EU Parliament and Council, it could be law by 2022. Companies will then have two years to adapt their devices. But consumer electronics giant Apple says the standardisation will affect innovation and two years is not enough time. The EU says they've given the tech industry 10 years to come up with a solution between themselves and they failed. Now is the time for legislation. Charlie Angela, Al Jazeera, London.